Running a weekly calibration and daily performance verification on the MagPix instrument is essential for maintaining instrument performance. Calibration and performance verification checks the accuracy of your MagPix results by ensuring the MagPix instrument is placing beads into the correct regions on the bead map. If the calibration and performance verification fails, it is important to troubleshoot the failure in order to get the MagPix instrument working correctly again. Often, MagPix calibration and performance verification failures occur because of low bead count, incorrect target values, reagent tissues, probe problems, clogs, or debris in the imaging chamber. Let's go through the steps to troubleshoot a calibration and performance verification failure on the MagPix instrument and get your instrument up and running again. When experiencing a calibration and performance verification failure on the MagPix instrument, first review the calibration and performance verification report to identify the failure. You can find the report by going to the Results page, Reports tab. In the Reports drop-down menu, choose the Calibration and Performance Verification Report. Choose Fail from the drop-down menu to view only failed reports. Ensure the date of the failure falls within the date range selection. Click Generate. Look for errors 2054, 2075, or 2081 through 2088. Often, when these errors are found in the Calibration and Performance Verification Report, it indicates a probe issue. The probe may be clogged, preventing any reagent uptake, or the probe may be adjusted to the wrong height, hindering it from taking up the amount of reagent needed. Cleaning the sample probe and readjusting the sample probe height are good places to begin troubleshooting calibration and performance verification failures even if the report does not indicate these errors. To clean the sample probe, remove the probe from the instrument. Please note, turn off the MagPix instrument and unplug the power cord before attempting this maintenance procedure. Open the side access door of the MagPix. Then completely unscrew the sample probe fitting on top of the sample probe holder. Grasp the sample probe gently and push up. Lift the sample probe out of the instrument. Perform a roll test to ensure the sample probe is not bent. Clean the sample probe using either a bath sonicator or a 10 microliter syringe, or both. If using a bath sonicator, place the tip of the sample probe in the bath sonicator for two to five minutes. If using a syringe, Force distilled water through the tip of the sample probe to its large end. This dislodges any debris clogging the tip. Replace the sample probe, tighten the cheminert fitting until you hear an audible click, and adjust the sample probe height using the exponent software. Next, run a post-batch routine from the maintenance page, commands and routines tab. This routine will clean and sanitize the fluid lines and chamber in the instrument. You will need purified water, 70% isopropanol alcohol or ethanol, and 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. Use the plate diagram to fill the off-plate reagent block wells accordingly. Run a calibration and performance verification to determine if the issue is resolved.